is hungry. What in the world kind of a yes? Thank you, Ivy. So today we're gonna do two things. Not only will we be taking, oh, thank you, Chrissy. Not only are we gonna go out and feed all the bigs and these birds, but we're gonna drag my pastures. How many of y'all are getting sick and tired of seeing Lester with dirty pastures? Because listen, we don't do that here. We don't do dirty pastures here. And guys, I will be the first to admit that life has gotten with the our driveway being washed out and as much time and energy as that consumed with the breakout from Tat yesterday, from the farriers coming this morning, from stuff going on at I'm a Survivor with Waylon and his family and all of that nonsense. Hey, would you guys, could I just make a couple of opening remarks here? Could I make a couple of opening remarks? No, no, okay, fine. No rope, no, no, no we're feeding. All right, we're feeding. Bucky says, no, we're feeding. Let's go. Have y'all ever had a coach or anyone in your life that tried so hard to not allow you to make excuses. Excuses! This is no excuse zone. And there's excuses is for the weak. Well, Bucky's just saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, no excuses here. This pasture's dirty, and we're about sick of it. Look out, Mildred. Millie, move it, you big doofus. Oh, flea bag. She's not really a flea bag. Uh, so I have a lot of longhorn activity over here to my left. We're gonna go up on this high hill for our feet up. And the horses will be here momentarily. I can guarantee you that. There we go. This is a nice spot right here. This is a nice spot right here. Turning that off so we don't have any issues with Trixie. Y'all give me one moment here, huh? pastures it's time to wipe the slate clean we're not at the year sweetie you're fine Are corny convict movies make her horny. She likes ketchup on her scrambled eggs. She swears like a sailor when she shaves her legs. She takes a lick and keeps on ticking. I'm never gonna let her go. He ain't got late in the month of Sunday. I caught him once and he was sniffing my undies. He ain't that shy, but he gets shit done. Drinks his beer like it's oxygen. But he's my baby and I'm his honey. 
Never gonna let him go. Dogs got to chasing and barking and stuff and playing around, and I ended up running over her little foot. She gets a little limp now. She's fine, but uh, I do see he has a little limp. You all remember what happened last year when Trixie got her leg tangled up in this thing. It's a pretty dangerous device. It makes your pastures look great. I mean, you have to admit, it makes your pastures look amazing. It can go by and help mulch in everything and compost everything in, which is a really neat tool to have to keep things looking beautiful. But the problem is the dogs get excited, they get excited, y'all. And Trixie and chasing me and Christmas trying to tell her not to. And she ends up running right up behind me and I nip her, I nip her leg. Sweetie, can I see you? Can I look at your leg? I wanna look at it, come here. Boy, you ain't hurt that bad. I saw, you were limping a minute ago. Now she's, were you faking it? Was she just faking all that? Oh, Millie, you old flea bag. I didn't told you you're a flea bag. Everyone else is like, no, no one else are flea bags. Only Millie's the old flea bag. <laughs> Millie does have a, she has an itchy problem. Uh, we give all of our dogs the same flea med. So I'm, when I call her an old flea bag, I'm just, okay, Christmas is not limping at all. Guys, she was limping a minute ago. I'm not making this up. I saw her limping. Please tell me I have video of that. Please. Tell me I have video of her limping, because she was. So, Buddy's not doing well. He's not gained a bit of weight since we've had him. We got an appointment for him coming up. And now I just run over her leg. It scared me. I stopped immediately. And now she's up and doing her thing. She's fine. She's fine. But, um... It's cute. Everyone's doing good. Everyone loves a clean pasture. Now, I was saying that we have a, a vet appointment for Buddy because he's not gained, guys, I don't know what's wrong. He's not gained any weight, but I don't think, I mean, I haven't put him on scales, but I don't think he's gained any weight. And then whenever we feed him, he, he seldom wants to eat. So he has no appetite. And then when, when he does have an appetite and he eats, he ends up going up, going outside and throwing up. Yeah, he'll, we'll find him over here behind the tree or somewhere sitting there throwing up. And so I don't know, but uh, the uh, vet was here to work with Dixie and she kind of peeked at him, but she can't do anything without lab stuff. So you gotta take him in. And so we're gonna take him in. We have that appointment. All right, well, Christmas is fine. I sit here and stop the video and I was like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> driving slow I like to speed around doing this so next time we do it dogs are gonna be locked up that I can promise you Yo, VIP let's kick it I don't think you can tell a whole lot from the camera. Well, here's the thing. You could see, you could definitely see when there was poop everywhere. But now that I have it all spread in and, you know, fertilized in, composted in, it's hard to tell that I've done anything. 
Yeah, I hate to make excuses. I, I really don't want to ever be known as someone that makes excuse after excuse after excuse, but but here comes the but. <laughs> you know, we had Dixie in that situation, that terrible situation last week. And uh, the week before that, we had our driveway. It was washed out. And, I mean, you can just keep going back and the different things that was going on and have been going on. So I'm glad to get the pasture all raked up and clean. You can, and, and you do, you can pick out a pile of poop from a mile away when your pasture is nice and raked and they look so good. That's kind of what you get conditioned to. Have I ever told y'all about the uh, photoshopping of viral videos and how they will not play a video, a viral video will not. They uh, will doctor it up to take out all of the poop. And then you put your movies, uh, big movies like Yellowstone, where they have these cattle drives. And here they are amongst all of these cattle and there's no poop, <laughs> none. None whatsoever. And uh, I had a fellow once. He worked for a place called News Flare. They were, before we were making I'm a Survivor videos, I was making videos that I would sell to viral video folks. Storyful, News Flare, The Dodo, just different ones. And I remember the guy from News Flare told me that if I could capture videos that would require less doctoring. That's always easier for them and it can make me more money. And so one of the things that he said was uh, they had to go by and take out all of the piles of poop. And I, and I never, never, I had never realized that before. But uh, just in general, people will find a distaste of videos if they have to see poop. Despite the fact that horses and cows and pigs and goats and dogs and cats and people and poop, no one wants to see it. And so I learned then. That was a lesson that I learned a long time ago. And I really do think the success of I'm a Survivor Sanctuary with the 1.7 million followers is probably because much to do about the beauty of that farm and people realized real fast that, I mean, yeah, you can call yourself a sanctuary, but you have to actually live up to those standards. And I'm a survivor did that. Can I ask you an honest question? Even right now, as I'm sitting here and I'm staring out across the pastures, you see the pond, you see the grass, the trees. How many of y'all cannot seem to stop staring at that line of poop. <laughs> See? See? That's what I'm talking about. And so when they do these polls and they put up different videos and it's people may not be able to even subconsciously uh, tell you why. But there's a distaste for videos. And so for other farm channels, they might can learn a little bit if they would stop being so e arrogant and egotistical where they can't do any wrong and understand that it would take five minutes to jump on a four wheeler or a side by side or even your truck and take that harrow around. And it can make a world of difference in the growth of their page. But then you have those same channels saying, well, we're a real farm and on real farms, animals poop. Okay, well then you just keep making your real farm videos. But guess what? Those are two real horses. There ain't no people dressed up in costumes inside those things, y'all. And uh, this is a real farm too. And real farms require real money to operate. And real tractors. And real work. Lots of it. Sometimes more than what most people are willing to do. But hey. Thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for appreciating clean, beautiful pastures. And, ha and, ha and happy dogs. And happy dogs. I said happy dogs. Okay? Sheesh. Don't
let your troubles fester Come watch Longhorn Lester <laughs> Yeah, something like that